hungry after dinner and want a nice little sweet treat for you and your family? Well, today I'm going to show you how. And that sweet treat is Oreo balls. So, let's get started. The first step you have to do is make sure your hands are clean. Okay, now that we have our hands all washed and clean, we'll get started. So what I'll be doing is I will be making Oreo balls and William here will be decorating them and showing you all the steps to make them look nice and taste a little bit better. So let's get started on what you need. Okay, these are the ingredients that you need. You need one package of normal Oreos and one room temperature, you gotta let it thaw a little bit, of cream cheese, any brand, and it should be eight ounces, and then one bag where you will crush up your Oreos in, and a pan, and that's what you need for the Oreo balls. Hey, and a bowl. For decorating the Oreo balls, we we'll need some chocolate wafers, to make them better, some vanilla ones, wax paper, two bags, one of these things, or a microwave. And some toothpicks to make it easy. So the first step for making the actual Oreo balls is taking your Oreo package, opening it up, and you are going to take your bag right here and stick them in and then just crush them up. So let's go. Okay, now that you have all your Oreos in this bag here, you're really just going to smash them up. You can punch it, throw it around, make sure they don't fall out, and or you could use something like a wooden spoon or something to make it easier. So let's start crushing them. Now that you have all your Oreos crushed up in a bag, uh, you will dump them into the bowl with your cream cheese and I'll put the cream cheese in after. So they're in the bowl. Now what you want to do is you want to get your cream cheese and make sure it's uh, room temperature. So it's, it doesn't have to be, but it's much easier to mix. So you get your cube, your block, open it up. thing to do is just to get a knife, any knife, you better knife's easy, and just like cut them and put them in as like separate cubes so it's not just one big clump of cream cheese. And I cut it into eight, cut into eight so it's easy. So I just do that, mix it in. Grab another part of it. Gosh, really? Oh god! And then you throw it in, and then grab another one. Throw it in, another, and you do this until you have them all in. Oh. So the next step, now that you have everything in a bowl, is with your clean, washed hands. You're gonna mix them up, and the easiest way to mix them up is with your hands. It's my, you get the best mix and you can really get them nice and molded into the Oreo balls. So I will just do this for a little while and then you'll see what's next. Okay, so now once they look pretty much like this, you will wash your hands and then we will start making them into one inch balls and putting them on the plate. Pan. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now you have these gross, dirty hands, and you're gonna wash them off until they're clean. Okay, so now that you have your Oreos mixed into the bowls, you're gonna take your wax paper or parchment paper and your pan and just put some right across the distance of the pan. Perfect. So now we have that done, we'll start rolling our Oreo balls into approximately one inch balls. So, 
could be something about this size. Then you make another one. And you want to put them um, as close, not as close as possible, but a decent size to each other, like something like that. Only like maybe an inch apart, maybe, maybe less. Because unlike cookies, cookies expand in the oven and then you get they get all mixed up and that doesn't work. With these, it's fine because they're just, after this, we'll put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. They'll harden up and then we can start decorating. So let's finish making these. Okay, now that you have basically all your Oreos, you want to make sure you scrape the bowl to get one last Oreo ball in. Look, that was perfect. And I'm just using my nails to scrape it in. It's a little bit gross, but you gotta do when you're making a dessert. And remember, hand rolling is always the best. You don't like, I don't know what you would do other than that, but. So we have these, and I'm just gonna wash my hands and throw them in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, so time to put them in the fridge for 30 minutes. Got the fridge. I'm just gonna, hopefully that Jeez! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you guys. I could have just done this, okay? Oh yeah, sorry. So now we're gonna let those sit for about 30 minutes. I'll set the timer here. Oh, gosh. Okay, so about 30 minutes. And while we do that, we're going to get some of the chocolate out. Here we go. So now you have to put your chocolates into the melting pot. Nice. I spilled a little, but that's expected. And so now you'll just let this melt. Um, I'll clean this up later. Oh, wait. But another way to do it is... To put it in the microwave for 15 second intervals and you just stir it around until it's melted. So let's wait for ours to melt and we'll get started. Okay. Okay, so we finished melting our one and a half bags of chocolate. And William is now gonna show you how to dip them and decorate them. Take it out of the fridge. Carefully. So there they are. And now we're going to dip them. Take your uh, Oreo ball. Make sure every all the extra chocolate's off. Okay, seems about ready. Now you stick it on your parchment paper. Now that we finished chocolating them all up, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now we wait. Now that we put the uh, Oreo balls in the harden, we're going to put the white chocolate into the microwave. For around 16, or 15 seconds. Now we finish mixing and melting the white chocolate, and um, we're going to go get the Oreo balls. Looks pretty good. Let's get started. We're making little icing bags. Now you gotta put um, the bag carefully. Put it in the sink and we're gonna put the chocolate in. Now 
Make sure you get all the chocolate. Now you're going to take the bag and put a small hole in it. Now we're going to cut a hole in it. Okay, and now we will pour it on the balls. Slowly put stripes on the chocolate balls. Okay, and we'll get the product. Now we're going to put on a plate. Okay, so now you got your finished product. And as you can see, it's a nice, easy, simple recipe for anyone to do. And I guarantee your friends and family will love them. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to take them out of the fridge. That's the freezer, buddy. Okay, whatever. Well, we'll ball. Okay. Put it in the chocolate. Swirl it around. You got, um, oh, shoot. You got all the chocolate. <gasps> no! No, wait. He's going to save it. I'm gonna save it. Stab it, stab it. No! Come, Come on, on, hold this camera, hold the camera, hold the camera. Ew! <laughs> no! no! I can't get it. I got it. Why can't you ever get it? Because there's no. Why is there an ec Why is there a toothpick in there? Because you dropped it. How's there. Oh my god. That wasn't mine. Okay, guys, we saved that one. Saved it. Well, it yeah. Now that we put the um, uh, Oreo balls in there to harden, we're going to put the white chocolates in the microwave. About like, you know, 15 seconds. <laughs> okay. After we put it in there to harden, we're going to put the white chocolates in the microwave. How long? Oh. For 15 seconds. You're gonna close it. Let me put the. <laughs> Stop! Um, those ones in the hard, and we're gonna put the white chocolates in. <laughs> Ow! So there you have it. Uh, I made the Oreo balls, William decorated them, and this is a finished product. Thank you. Peace.